All right, here with the Daily Rant, our friend, our neighbor, and a man who works for the nation when he's got a brand name around his journalism and a fine brand it is, Ari Melber. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, Dylan. All right. Uh, a study published this week reveals yet another problem with Congress. Legistorm, a transparency group, documented how many congressional staff have gone from government work to lobbying. For lobbyists, there's good news here. It turns out that over 5,000 former or current congressional staff have gone through the revolving door for lobbying in the last decade. Now that is the highest number on record. What does that mean for Congress? Well, as the Washington Post explained yesterday, thousands of lobbyists are able to exploit experience and connections gleaned from working inside the legislative process. These former congressional staffers can lobby their former co-workers and bosses. In fact, today there are almost as many lobbyists as congressional staff. Now, often ex-staffers provide that Hill experience to groups that already have disproportionate power in our politics, large corporations, special interest groups, and political players like the NRA or the AARP. Now, to be clear, people can leave government and work for whomever they want. But I think the policy question is about the information and access that the government grants public employees. Should that be up for sale? So while former Hill staffers can work anywhere, they could also be restricted from discussing government information or competing in the policy arena that they left behind. That would be the lobbying. Under current law, for example, senators are barred from lobbying for two years after they retire from Congress. Now look, Congress passed that restriction as part of the 2006 ethics reforms. I think it's a good rule. President Obama, I think to his credit, also chose to ban most lobbyists from serving in his administration. But that only stops people on their way into the revolving doors into government. The new data that we're looking at here shows today one of the biggest problems is the exodus of staffers out of government and for the greener pastures of lobbying. Now just imagine passing a law to counter this trend and lock those revolving doors. Well, you don't have to. Michael Bennett, a senator from Colorado, has already introduced a bill that would create a six-year ban on lobbying by congressional staff after they leave our government, where we pay them. More controversially, at least among his peers, Senator Bennett's bill would also replace the two-year ban on former members of Congress with a flat lifetime ban on lobbying. Now that would get Congress's attention. So far, though, the bill has only one co-sponsor. But this is interesting. It goes to the Money in Politics Amendment that we're working on and talking about mm -hmm. uh, with people like Lawrence Lessig and Jimmy Williams and the Tea Party people are very in in interested in this. Obviously, Congress is never going to pass that bill because it's against their interest. It is only in the face of massive outside public pressure, public pressure. that this will happen. Yeah. And so that's why your journalism is so, I, I think, for, so it, I, it's easy to say, listen, the Congress is a bunch of, they're never going to do it. The real question we, we, the audience, you and I, everybody that's in this country, ask is, can we educate people to this in a way that creates a social machine? Abs I absolutely. Think we can. Absolutely. From the Tea Party to the liberal bloggers, this is an area where people say the system is broken. And where the lobbyist power come from? The connections that I talked about today and the campaign finance reform. You address those two things with public pressure, and you actually break some of this strangle. This is a matter of principle, not a mechanic or an idea. This is about the principles of our nation, which is where we can get that big tent. I love it. I, I love you. It's great to see you. Ari Mel. I, come on. It's good stuff. A, a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kidding. Uh, that way well, you could do it. You could clap at home. You just wouldn't hear it. Uh, I'm Dylan Radigan. Hardball's up right now with Chris Matthews.